Mysterious images from the James Webb Telescope reveal something terrifying. The universe may not have come into existence the way we previously thought, and some experts even suggest that our understanding of time might have nothing to do with physical reality. What's pushing us towards this revolutionary idea is a captivating statement by the renowned physicist Michio Kaku, which completely challenges everything we think we know about the concept of time. Are you ready to forever change your perspective on the cosmos? If so, hit the like and subscribe buttons and be sure to stay with us until the end. Looking back, the future has begun. On December 25, 2021, the deployment of the James Webb Space Telescope is revolutionizing our understanding of the universe. The data gathered so far once again shows us that such a revolution sometimes ends up shaking the aspects that were previously considered scientific facts. But more on that later. Specifically designed for infrared astronomy, Webb outperforms its predecessor, Hubble, in all parameters. Developed jointly by NASA and the Canadian Space Agency, Webb theoretically has the capability to detect the faint heat of a bumblebee on the lunar surface. However, as we know, this $10 billion instrument directs its technical gaze not at lunar bees, but primarily at the structures of objects that formed after the Big Bang and during the so-called Dark Ages, 13.5 billion years ago. This optical journey through time is possible because Webb can perceive and analyze long wavelength radiation from the red part of the visible spectrum to the mid-infrared range. In the realm of astronomical research, this ability is fundamental, as the light from distant A regions and therefore early areas of space shifts precisely into this range as a result of cosmological effects. However, the first images are already emerging. The images from the Space Telescope have raised significant questions. After closely examining the initial pictures of distant galaxies taken by Webb, Eson Kirk, Patrick made the following statement. Right now, I'm lying awake in my bed at 3 o bike a.m., wondering if everything I've ever done is wrong. But what's causing experts like Kirk Patrick to be in a full-blown crisis right now? In a nutshell, the star systems captured in the images existed when the universe was less than a billion years old and they are much larger and more complex than our previous theories predicted. These early galaxies initially seemed too massive and too bright, leading scientists to question whether the data they had collected might be erroneous. However, a few months ago, the web even identified a series of other early galaxies that, according to our understanding, shouldn't exist at all. According to it, six light points turned out to be gravitationally bound star clusters that had existed within 500-700 million years after the Big Bang and were as massive as our Milky Way. Some of these structures could even contain hundreds of billions of solar masses of stars. But how is this even possible when following conventional cosmological assumptions? There simply wasn't enough normal matter at the time to form such a large number of stars in such a short period. Even if only one of the discovered galaxies turns out to be genuine, it will completely overturn our understanding of cosmic evolution, according to scientists. To explain the existence of unexpectedly massive formations. The density of matter in the early cosmos had to be five times greater than previously assumed. An alternative, equally perplexing approach to explaining this is that galaxies developed in a completely unknown way that we have yet to comprehend. Against this backdrop, it should come as no surprise that astronomers are not celebrating Webb's discovery as an innovative find, but rather describe it as a real problem for science, facts changing with time. If you look at the reaction from the scientific community, you'll often encounter the following sentiment. This shouldn't be, but who's right now? the theoretical models of scientists or the actual nature of the universe. What our understanding of space has endured over time, several dramatic upheavals are well known. Recall, for example, the Copernican Revolution, which shifted the Earth from the center of the cosmos in the minds of our ancestors. Today, of course, we know that our home planet is just a tiny piece of the puzzle in a colossal, possibly infinite structure that far surpasses our imagination. Even Albert Einstein was convinced for a long time that the universe represented a rigid, unchanging structure. In order to refute the expansion of the universe, which today embodies the cornerstone of the Big Bang Theory, Einstein even added a cosmological constant to his equations. Later, 
the world genius called this move the greatest blunder of his life. If you want, this example vividly reminds us of one circumstance. Alternative approaches that challenge existing theories often face widespread resistance. Furthermore, the presumed fact remains unshaken only until new observations displace it. What was redshifted light from galaxies in Einstein's time, as discovered by Edwin Hubble, may soon become the conclusions drawn from images captured by the James Webb Telescope. An incredible alternative is emerging due to inexplicable findings and conflicting data sets, and more and more experts are turning away from the established concept of the Big Bang. If you look beyond the Big Bang theory, you'll discover numerous breathtaking, almost unbelievable hypotheses that could forever change our view of the night sky in principle. The Big Bang Theory asserts that space, matter, and time all originated together with the initial singularity roughly 13.8 billion years ago. But what if something similar to the universe doesn't actually exist at all? What if the universe isn't really a grand whole and, like our Earth, is just a tiny link in an unimaginably vast chain? According to the theory of chaotic inflation, such a scenario is entirely possible. According to this theory, most of the cosmos has been expanding inflationarily since time immemorial, with this process coming to a halt only in a few bubble subregions. Therefore, in each bubble, an independent universe would form, each with its own unique set of physical laws. At the same time, researchers believe that the universe is subject to an eternal cycle of decline and rebirth. Some even propose that we might actually be inside a black hole. However, the concept of time has long been subjected to mass doubt. What if time is just an illusion? The illusion of time, children, how time flies. It's a phrase we've probably all heard from our grandparents, often accompanied by a small but significant complication. Is time really flying? And if it is, where is it flying from and to? Does time flow as often stated, from the future through the present into the past? Or is it an intersection of the present and an advanced past? Why does time have direction in the first place? Those who ask a theoretical physicist might sometimes receive the following response. It doesn't matter. In solving Einstein's equation, there's no difference in calculating the future from the past or the past from the future. In such a fully deterministic cosmos, everything is already entwined in becoming and fading away. Views like Michio Kaku's. But what does Michio Kaku actually have to say on this complex matter? During one of his interviews, the physicist was asked about the nature of time and the possibility of time travel. His response was as follows. Let's start with Isaac Newton. Newton believed that time is like an arrow. Once released, the arrow moves in a straight direction. One second on Earth is equal to one second on Mars, one second on Jupiter, and so on. The arrow never changes its direction. But then came Einstein, who said, not so fast. Time is like a river. A river that meanders, speeds up, and slows down. The question is, can the river of time split into loops and twist around itself? In this case, time travel is something we must take very seriously, because Einstein's equations allow for time travel. And the concepts for time travel are actually compatible with Einstein's theories. For example, giant rotating cylinders. You travel around the cylinder and return before you've torn it apart. Time and space are like a kind of rubber, like a trampoline net. If we stretch the trampoline net too much, it may tear, and we might be able to give the trampoline the shape of a pretzel, allowing us to travel into the past. But unfortunately, as always, there's a catch. The energy required for this is enormous. Even an atomic bomb doesn't have enough energy to power a time machine. We would need the energy of an exploding star. As known, the theoretical question of time travel is accompanied by some paradoxes. For example, what happens if we kill our own grandfather in the past? thereby depriving ourselves of existence. According to Michio Kaku, there are two ways to resolve these puzzling thought experiments. The first method is called self-consistency. Even if we point a charged gun at our grandfather, something will prevent us from pulling the trigger. For us, it would be simply impossible. And then, perhaps there exists a way to... A hidden physical law prevents us from creating temporal paradoxes but I don't believe in it. In such cases, the flow of time splits, just as we see in the movie Back to the Future. This is the simplest way to explain temporal paradoxes, because we don't need to add any assumptions other than those of quantum mechanics. 
If we go back in time and save Abraham Lincoln from assassination, we would save a different Abraham Lincoln. If you were to shoot your own parents before your birth, you would be shooting someone else's parents. So if you want, we are changing a parallel past that we create ourselves. Even Stephen Hawking said that there must be some physical law that prevents us from traveling to the past, and we searched for it but found nothing. We don't know of any physical law that would prohibit us from traveling back in time. It seems to be consistent with the laws we know. The catch is that it would require energy on the order of a stellar civilization to achieve. To implement it, a civilization would need to be highly advanced, but it's not impossible. And with that, thank you for watching. What do you think about the amazing observations of the James Webb Telescope and Michio Kaku's fascinating thoughts on the nature of time? Don't hesitate to share your opinion in the comments below and consider subscribing if you enjoyed our video.